afternoon at Neil's place at uh, Thurrock Nub News, and uh, this is a bit of a red letter day. Those followers of Thurrock Nub News and uh, Thurrock Independent before that will, I'm sure, be very familiar with the saga of the Buckingham Hill Junction. Um, about two years ago now, um, planning permission, we've got longer than that when the planning permission was granted, uh, permission was given for Persimmon Homes to build hundreds of new houses in East Tilbury. A condition of that planning permission was that they provided traffic lights at the Buckingham Hill Road, Stamford Road Junction. Um, they employed a local firm to do the work. Uh, I think it would be fair to say that not a very good job was done and the lights never passed muster. And for the last 18 months or so, these junction has been uh, something of an embarrassment and a, a almost made Thurrock Council a laughing stock as it has refused to get engaged in getting the problem fixed. Yesterday, um, or it started on Monday, we learned that the temporary uh, traffic system that's in place to facilitate access to the Linford tip had been made 24-7. The council didn't explain why, and today we can actually tell you why. Um, BT have moved in going to fix the Buckingham Hill line. Um, Thurrock Council Leader Rob Gledhill has made an announcement to that effect today and lo and behold, as you can see behind me, the builders, oh, so the construction team are now at work. The bad news is that this is probably going to take eight weeks to fix. But hey, we've waited for 18 months, longer than that really, so what is interesting is they're now digging up the road which was just dug up a couple of weeks ago by gas engineers. So let's hope that they don't strike anything that they shouldn't do. But ladies and gentlemen who have been annoyed for a long time, um, you can see work is finally underway. Buckingham Hill lights are going to be proper at last. This is Neil Spade of Thurton News bringing you a big news story for local people.